All right, what's going on YouTube? Tickle me pink, your least favorite content creator. Today, I'm gonna cover every single quest that's on Ground Zero and try to make this as painless as possible for you guys. So first and foremost, we're gonna start out with shooting can. So I'm gonna have a link to the Ground Zero map in my Twitch chat. Just go ahead and on my Twitch chat and type exclamation point Ground Zero and that'll be one word, all right? We're gonna start with shooting cans and your quest is to go ahead and find a mounted MG and a mounted grenade launcher. If you look over here, we're going to be going into this building, not the, um, what is this building called? The Nakatani building. That's the evac at the edge of the map. But this one right before you hit it and the road starts to curve. So there's going to be two staircases. You're going to want to go in on the right hand side. Go all the way to the top. And we're going to hang a right. Go up these stairs and the grenade launcher is going to be up here. Let me know what you guys are thinking of Ground Zero as a map so far. I had a ton of fun with it. The recoil changes made it really nice. But on this second room on our left, we will find the mounted grenade launcher. So we're going to go ahead and work our way back down the street. Now I'm going to try and hit every single quest and make this as timely as possible. I know you guys want to get back to the wipe. But yeah, I was actually really loving Ground Zero. And this change to recoil, I mean... It effectively made like early game PvP feel very viable and a lot of fun. I will say though, I got a little tired of getting hit in like the collarbone and the throat. All of my uh, all of my deaths are too. I got one one tap and fragment to my collarbone and then three to my my throat. So those are the four deaths I had on the way to level 15. You guys can tell me how uh, how yours went. But next up, we're gonna go to the MG. So if you just follow this road straight down from the GL where we were at earlier. You're gonna pass the little, there's a little Mercedes in there. You're gonna pass this little plant shop. And you're gonna go to Tar Bank, which I just noticed is literally Chase's uh, logo. I don't know how I never noticed that before. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go into Tar Bank here. And go up the stairs. Be careful, people do like to lurk in here and people can spawn here. So just be mindful of that. I don't want you guys dying while doing your quest. <laughs> Additionally, I'm also going to be having a settings guide out here soon and a keybinds guide out here soon, as you guys have been asking for that a lot. But up on top floor, here you're going to go ahead and find your mounted MG in that quest. Shooting cans is now done for Prapper. That is the first uh, quest you need to do on Ground Zero for Prapper. He actually has two here. The other one's not far away, but I'm going to go ahead and point out one more thing before we go ahead and show you the next one his next one is called luxurious life now you're gonna actually need to go ahead and kill the scavs and turn in the shotguns before you get the next quest i would also recommend you guys go ahead and get your taws and your white body armor while you're still on ground zero if you can and then once you've done that move on so the next quest is for skier and that is burning rubber so the vehicle extraction is going to be straight down the road and it's this black suv right here so this is the center of the map they'll have this big garden area and this is the terror group building which we'll get to in just a second but that is actually kind of the center of the map here and if i get over here i'll show you you'll see there's a giant intersection there's a ramp that goes down and there's a whole underground section to this map but this is the main road that intersects this map so you'll either spawn on this side and go down to uh, that one building that i showed you earlier there's stairs in the bottom of it and that'll take you down and that's an evac or you'll go all the way around and we'll end over there in just a second there are some corners to spawn in but it's largely just this one road but the next quest for prapper after you've gone ahead and turned in your shotguns and got your scav kills is going to be to come right here to asap winery so this is just right next to the middle of the map and this is a quest where you can have a multitude of spawns and you're going to be looking for a special bottle of wine um, I redid this several times so I could try and find every single spawn and the only spawns I could find were right in this vicinity is one spawn for the wine. I don't remember the exact cubby it's in but it should be right there. And the next spawn I was able to find was over in here and then on this second shelf right in this corner right here. So that'll have you finishing a luxurious life from Pravor. Up next, I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and do uh, um, saving the mole. It's the mechanic task. And uh, lastly, we'll do first in line. So, you see this terror group building? Now, there's kind of like a parking garage sort of area downstairs. More of like a underpass, a shanty. I don't really know what to call it, to be honest. But you have this 
terror group area over here and this is the parking lot for the terror group building so you're gonna need to come into the terror group uh parking lot first and there is a ton of dead planted building or bodies on this map make sure you loot them the loot on the map is not that good However, these planted bodies are insane. That's a dirt bike. That's not a planted body. <laughs> these planted bodies are insane. One of my friends actually found a taiga. And if you don't know, that's a melee weapon. Sometimes it goes for 15, 20 mil. He found a taiga just on one of these guys. They also are loaded with armor piercing ammunition. Basically, anything you'd find on a dead scav, you'll find on these guys. But you'll do the first part of this quest by just simply walking through that parking lot. Be careful, that parking lot is a giant hotspot, and so is this entire building, rather. You're going to come in here, which is the main section of the terror group lab. You're going to go to this back room right over here. And this is where we're going to go ahead and find the scientist. So, you'll run into this rubble, and once you climb all the way up to the rubble, you're going to go down, loot this. This is the scientist, and he's going to have a key. Now, he's only going to have one key, and it's one use. So... You need to get this quest done, just like the quest for the SUV extraction. You're going to want to get here relatively fast, or you're not going to be able to do it. Now, the door will be available, and the, the hard drive will be available for two. I'm not sure if I got a bug earlier, but I actually had to get the key and unlock the room myself to finish the task. That may have just been a bug, though, so don't mind it too much. You're going to run to this room up here with a three on it, and then you're going to go ahead and pop open room number four. Okay, once you get to the other side of this desk right here, the hard drive is going to spawn along this desk. Go ahead and take it to extraction. Make sure you turn it into mechanic and you are done with saving the mole. One thing I just want to point out to you guys quickly is be very careful of people shooting down on the SUV extraction and watching the bank from this angle. I've seen a lot of new players just getting absolutely gunned down. Well, I guess not new players, but people that are new to ground zero and it sucks when you only have like you know two m4s and you just get whacked by some guy sitting up in a building so watch out for that also i would strongly recommend that you guys bring a friend as basically a lot of people are running big squads on ground zero right now and we're talking like four to five and on solo you're kind of get pushed around a little bit so if you need a group to play with feel free to join my discord i'll personally run some raids to you help you out with these quests i have no problem with it and that'll be the first link in my uh in my description sorry it's pretty late over here but i realized that this really hadn't been given out yet i saw pestley had posted videos on it but he posted each quest and he did full raids they're like 25 minutes each so i thought this would be very helpful for you guys but we have the last quest over here and that is going to be first in line so this is also a an evac this is the goshen evac you should go look at the unity credit bank over here and this is going to be the opposite uh evac as to where we spawned right here but what you're going to want to do is you're going to come over to these tents and it's super simple once you made your way to this tents you're going to achieve the like it's just a location realistically you just have to get here and you're done and then you need to turn in three medical items so this going to be like found and raid bandages down and raid ai2s it could be anything any medical item there's going to be a medical bag right behind here. So, for example, you can turn that. Those meds in is a medical item. You'll be able to loot meds right here, right here. There's another med bag right here. And you should be able to get all of your items right here. Make sure to loot this guy. I found really, really good loot on him. And you'll be able to evac this. If you spawn this side of the map, you'll be able to run this exact route in reverse. And you'll end on those staircase in that first building I pointed out with the, the red... Uh, Red text at the top to start with an N. I'm, I'm forgetting the name of it now, but hopefully this helps you out. Try to keep this as fast and to the point as possible. Make sure to smash that dislike button and tell me to kill myself in the comments down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys all in the Discord and in the live stream. Peace out, guys. Love you all.